Hello. Rock and roll graveyard. I feel a bit like Lemmy in this hat. But um, I came here because I've got a test on my van. So um, I'm really quite nervous about it. But those, these yews, or this yew behind me and those other trees, they, um, they have more lower branches when I came here last year and the year before and the year before and the year before. <laughs> and they've all been cut, so it's not, it's not as secluded anymore. And I don't like it, because this was a lovely little secluded bench. <laughs> That's my word, it means secluded and nice. But it is, it's a nice graveyard, so uh, maybe we could take a wander round and see if the peacock will serenade us. That's a um, uh, euphorbia, isn't it? Fire thorn. It's some mint. Mmm, that always escapes. Some, um, oh, no, it's not. What is that? It's not artichoke, is it? <laughs> Willow herb? No. I can't think. I don't know what that is. Oh, I thought it was that, but obviously it's not. It's totally different. But look at this. I mean, it's really hard with um, graveyards because you know, it takes a lot of work to keep it together. So you need to pay people and they don't want to pay people or volunteers. Lomis, a nice yellow one. And Butterbur, see that if it's not looked after, that will just take over and get everywhere. Probably my favourite cross in here. A proper Turkish delight rose. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh. It's probably one of my, it's in my top 10 favourite scents yeah. easily. Oxide daisies and it's that nipple wort. Or am I thinking of something else? go through it's almost to there but not quite another little area with some older tombs say <laughs> this place has never looked better I love all the going back to nature and the overgrownness oh it's incredible oh look queen of poison every part of that plant is poisonous it's um, Monk's Bane, Wolf's Bane, Gardener's Name Blank. Mm. 
Now this is quite an old bit. You can tell by how overgrown that yew is. into the depths of the old part. I'm guessing that they're burying people on the other side, that this is full. And there's a proper pillared one here. I say proper, like there's some kind of pillared one, but you see all the yews around here, surrounded. And all those there. Uh, small leaf lime. There's a lot of limes here. But look at this. No idea whose that is. Maybe it's Ern. Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> Proper dad joke, eh? Now around here, we've got ones in the wall. I'm guessing this was for, for ashes. I don't know much about that kind of thing. Is it ashes or was it for people's horses? And this is <laughs> quite a monster. But yeah, it's a good place to go and while away the minutes. And it is strange just how much of a fascination graveyards hold for us. You know, it's got to be something to do with, you know, the history that's here. Who were all these people? What did they do? What were their lives like? You know, it's fascinating. Not to mention all the decay of stone, carved stone and the way the ivy eats into it and nature takes it over. Look at that one in there. Lime tree and the yew, trees of immortality. Another two over there. There's the peacocks. Here's a tree you probably won't have seen in my videos. Well, in fact, you won't have. Does anyone know what this is? Looks like it's got a touch of a leaf curl disease, but does anyone know? Flowers off the branches. And in some ways, it's quite a bizarre choice for a place like this. Well, this is a 
building up the suspense. This is a Judas tree. Yes, <laughs> Judas tree. Absolutely right, it's not looking healthy though. There should be you know, more flowers and leaves on them than there are. Still not to worry. Wow, oh, there's a good window, look at that. Well, so you've seen my two favourites. This one and the Celtic one. <laughs> the Celtic one. It would be, wouldn't it? I thought I could see a green man in there. Yep, that really is as small as it looks. <laughs> Guess it's a child's or a hobbit. Yes, thanks for watching. Join me again some point for another rock and roll tour of a graveyard. So, uh...